Even if you don't live near the ocean, chances are your plastic garbage has found its way to the sea. The Great Lakes in North America are a good example. 80% of the litter along the shorelines of these majestic lakes is plastic. What trash doesn't remain on the shoreline or sink into the lake sediment flows through the canals and river systems, through the St. Lawrence Seaway, and into the Atlantic Ocean. These Great Lakes are just one example. This level of plastic debris is found all around the world. Garbage thrown away in the United States can make its way to Antarctica. Plastic in our coastal waters is pulled into the center of massive wind-driven, churning circular gyres. There are many other ocean currents also diverting the trash all around the surface of the ocean. In reality, it's just one ocean with no boundaries. Every time it rains here, every time the wind blows offshore, the sludge, the plastic from all of that rubbish ends up straight in the bay. It's easy to understand how these sorts of places become delivery systems for plastic into our oceans. The ocean is everyone's backyard or front yard or living space. The whole planet is where we live. There is no away that you can put things and expect that they're really away. <laughs>